The second part is on the Buddhist principle of uh, conditionality and emotion. Uh, this is an interesting part. Okay. So I would like to introduce to you this word called Ida Pachayata. Heard of this one? Ida Pachayata. Uh, this, this term is mentioned in the Buddhist scriptures many, many times in many, many suttas. For example, one of them is called the, the Baya Sutta. Okay. Uh, Ida Pachata basically means the Buddhist principle of conditionality or causality. Uh, it's nothing to do with air conditioning. <laughs> nothing to do with air, air, air uh, conditioning. Uh, basically what it means are uh, everything arises and ceases due to causes and condition. Everything arises and ceases due to causes and condition. And it applies to emotions as well. Got it? Uh, you want to know the, the etymology of the term, uh, Ida means this or that. Ida means this or that. Pachaya means uh, causes or condition. Okay? And the uh, Ta is just nurse. Uh, so it's also called this, that conditionality. Uh, that's a bit technical part. Uh, uh, in practice, it's, it says that everything, uh, everything in life uh, uh, it arises because of causes condition. Okay, uh, I have a simple way to help you to remember this. I, I figured out this uh, just yesterday. Uh, because it's called this that conditionality. Uh, okay, mm. so if I ask the question, uh, why like this one? Uh, <laughs> if I ask you, uh, if I ask you, uh, how come I got the wrong set of slides? Why like this one? Uh, what will be the answer? <laughs> uh, it's like that though, because of causes and conditions. <laughs> Ah, he asked, why this morning you woke up, uh, you didn't feel good? How come you got a little giddiness? Why? Why like this one? Uh? The answer is, like that, uh, because the causes and conditions. Uh, uh, why you feel upset? Why do you feel angry? Why are you frustrated? Why like this one? Uh? Answer is standard. It's like that, uh, because of causes and conditions. Is that easy enough to remember? <laughs> ah, but the Ida Pachayata, basically the principle says everything happens, everything arises, everything ceases because there are causes and conditions. Why panic attack? Why like that one? Ah? Because of causes and conditions. Ah, why feel guilty? Ah? Why like that one? Ah? Because of causes and conditions. Ah, if I add one more, lah, then why not? Lah? Uh, why like that one? Uh? Why not? Because the causes condition are there. Uh? <laughs> uh, uh, why why if I ask you a question you may you may feel scared to answer the question? Why not? Because the causes condition. Can I? Mm. Okay. Uh, two more party words. Uh, sometimes we just use the word causes, sometimes we just use the word condition, sometimes we use the word causes and condition. Uh, the, the Pali term for causes is had to. And the Pali word for condition is Pachaya. Uh, sometimes causes is used to mean the primary cause. Uh, whereas uh, Pachaya is used to describe the supportive causes. Uh, I think that is quite a uh, quite common sense uh, in life. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of causes condition, but usually there are one or two primary ones. Uh, there are a few supportive ones. Uh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, why are you here today? How come you come today? Because they've got causes and conditions, uh, uh, they've got the primary one, uh, maybe the happy one, uh, they've got a secondary one. Uh. Mm? Can I? Okay. Next slide is on, uh, on Paticca Samupada. Uh, this slide is on Ida Pachayata. This is uh, Paticca Samupada. Uh, this is also a very, uh, uh, very important teaching in Buddhism. Actually, they are related. Okay. Paticca Samupada is a specific application of Ida Pachayata in explaining rebirth. Why we are reborn again and again and again, why we suffer again and again and reborn again. Uh, so this is very, very, very deep. I will try to simplify the explanation. Okay, uh, just, just remember, this is the extension of the earlier slide. Earlier slide is on Ida Pachayata. Everything happened with causes and condition. This one, similar, everything happens with causes and conditions. In fact, there are 12 causes and conditions. I use this link. 
because there are, there are 12 links right? uh, 12 causes and conditions got 12 link uh, so there are 12 causes and conditions which explain why we are reborn again and again why we suffer again and again following you so far uh, hmm. Ignorance. Because of ignorance, eh, we end up doing a lot of bad karmas. Make sense? Because of ignorance, for example, we break the precepts. We do a lot of uh, unwholesome deeds. Okay? Because of unwholesome deeds, of course, there's karma. And karma causes rebirth. Make sense so far? Uh, and by the way, it's a Tibet, uh, uh, Buddhist art. Ignorance is represented by a blind man. Uh, a blind man, is it blind man? Ignorance. Then karma is a potter. Potter making pots. Potter. Mm. So karma, uh, uh, bad karma, unwholesome karma. Mm. Then rebirth. Rebirth is represented a, a monkey. Like the monkey jumping from one tree to another tree. Uh, Buddhist art, very cool. Eh? Okay. So of course the rebirth ready, eh? of course the uh, rebirth you got a mind and body, eh? you, you got mind and body right? I hold your mind and body here, not body here, mind not here. <laughs> uh, once we are reborn, natural isn't it? That's the causes and conditions, we have the mind and body. Uh, so one, one thing will lead to the other one. Hmm? So mind and body, of course we have the six senses. So what are the six senses? Sense of sight, sense of Hearing, sense of smell, sense of taste, sense of touch, and from Buddhist perspective, we have the sixth sense, which is the mind. Yeah, it comes a set one, right? You got a mind body, you have the six senses. Okay. Uh, mind body is represented by a boat with mind body. Uh, a boat, uh, and there are some uh, passengers, uh, okay? uh, passengers for mind body. Six sensor with a building with a six main windows. Very interesting uh, Buddhist art. Okay. Uh, six main one. One, two, three, four, five, six. You ask them why they why they draw extra ones. Uh, maybe the six one. Uh. I don't know, I don't know if I ask them. <laughs> then with the six sensor, they have sense contact. Sense contact means we hear something or we see something. Uh, interesting picture. Depicted by a couple kissing, contact, so the, uh, contact. Okay. Uh, with contact, they see something that will generate feeling. Uh, that's Vedana. That's Vedana. Uh, and feeling is it same as emotion? No. Feeling is pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. So far, no emotion set. Uh, anyway, I'm sharing this. I'm relating to emotion. Uh. So far, emotion is not involved yet. Uh, up to feeling, emotion is still not involved yet. So here you can have pleasant, unpleasant, neutral. If you like kissing, it's pleasant. If you don't like kissing, it's unpleasant. <laughs> no preference then, neutral. Then you have craving is the attachment to pleasant feeling or the aversion to unpleasant feeling. That means attachment to what I like. Or uh, aversion to what I don't like. That's craving. Uh, so a little bit of emotion already. Got it? Mm. Then in clinging, clinging is having negative thoughts, negative feelings, or negative behavior. Uh, let's say, oh, I see your handbag. Wow, very nice handbag. You're starting to have unwholesome thought. Maybe I want to own that. Maybe I want to steal your handbag. Uh, so that is clinging already. Uh, so it's starting to have unwholesome thoughts, feelings, slash emotion, some behavior, some planning. Okay. Then becoming is the habitual way of thinking and feeling in this way. A very fixated way of, I want to steal. I want to steal. My bad. Okay. So here, there's emotion, there's emotion, there's emotion. Mm. Although the word emotion is usually not used, uh, as I say, in the Buddhist context. Okay. Now, of course, if I want to steal your handbag, I will tarnish your reputation, I will break the precept. Of course, uh, that will eventually lead to rebirth again. Make sense? Uh, if you have not learned the lesson, you have not come to BGF, not learned the Buddha Dharma, <laughs> the cycle repeats. It's uh, 
Patita Sampupada, various translations, sometimes it's called dependent origination, sometimes it's called interdependent co-arising. I use the word co-arising because earlier I used the word Ida Pachareta, I used the word arises. Everything arises due to causes and conditions, so I standardize the terminology. Uh, so there are 12 links, interdependent links, which explains karma, rebirth, suffering, why we are born again and again and again. Okay. Okay, let's relate to emotion uh, because our, our focus today is on emotion. Uh, anyway, you hold the links up so that you remember. Uh, <laughs> hold the trap links and causes and conditions. Uh, and the history are related to emotion. Uh, uh, okay, uh, this is an interesting part. Okay. Emotions also arise because of causes and conditions. Why do I feel angry? They are causes and conditions. Why, why do I feel jealous, envious? They are causes and conditions. Ah, these are my teaching tools. So emotions are like Lego formation. Emotions are like Lego formation because this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this get anger. You have another set of formation. You got this, 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 this. You really got fear. You got that, 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 that. Different formation. You get happiness or joy. Are you following me so far? So emotions so arise because of causes and conditions. Different causes and conditions will form different emotions. So how's it? Uh, something a bit lighter. Recently, I've uh, I made a song. I have made a song uh, to, to convey what I, I tried to convey just now. Uh, related to Ida Pachayata, related to dependent origination, uh, basically, I want to highlight the, the, the fact that emotions also arise because of causes and conditions. Okay? And of course, we can transform the emotion. Uh, so may I share this song with you? <laughs> yeah. uh, so enjoy the song. And uh, the, the song has a very, uh, a very soothing uh, drum percussion. Uh, so if you like, you can also do some tap on your body. At sea, where mindful breath can set us free. With wisdom's light, the path is clear, transforming pain, dissolving fear. When this is that is, when this isn't that. Isn't. When this arises, that arises. When this ceases, that ceases. Ida Pakaya Tam. Patika Samupada. Each thought a seed, we choose to grow. With gratitude and contentment, joy unfolds. The chains of sorrow start to fade. Wisdom, new peace is made When this is, that is When this isn't, that isn't When this arises, that arises When this ceases, that ceases Ida Pakaya Tam in every rise, in every fall, impermanence embraces all. This emotion shall also pass like waves on sand. With wisdom's touch, we understand. This is 
is that is when this isn't that isn't when this arises that arises when this ceases that ceases I da pakaya ta pati kasamana. As one link breaks, the chains fall free With mindful heart, we start to see The end of pain, the birth of peace In wisdom's light, all sorrows cease When this is, that is When this isn't, that isn't When this arises, that arises When this ceases that ceases, I love Pakaya Ta Pati Kasamupada When this is, that is When this isn't, that isn't When this arises, that arises When this ceases, that ceases I love Pakaya Ta Pati Kasamupada So that's the chorus of the song. Uh. When this is, that is. When this isn't, that isn't. When this arises, that arises. When this ceases, that ceases. What does that mean? As what I explained earlier. Uh, so it's just another way to convey the message. Uh, so if you like this song, you can scan it. <laughs> uh. hmm. Okay. So just now I mentioned emotion have causes and conditions. Uh, but just now you're asking, so what are the causes and conditions? What are the possible causes and conditions? And this slide will answer that. Uh, so emotion is interdependent on many factors, many causes and conditions. So what are the possible causes and conditions? One, of course, ignorance. In fact, in the Paticca Samupada, the first one is ignorance. Uh, ignorance is one of the, in fact, it's a head to, it's a, it's a primary because of ignorance uh, can lead to a lot of suffering, a lot of uh, negative emotion. Okay? Thought, perception, our thought, the way we think can influence how we feel. Uh, thinking, mindset, our attitude, our assumption is very powerful in, in uh, conditioning our emotion. Because biology, I'm, I'm a doctor, if balance, uh, it can affect our emotion. You have a uh, tummy upset, tummy problem, IBS, uh, it can affect the emotion. Yeah? Uh, so the same things go for genetic as well. So there are a lot of biological factors that can influence our emotion. Behavior. For people with depression, uh, if you sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep, because one of the symptoms of depression is tiredness. If you think you sleep more and you're going to feel better, it's not going to happen. Actually, sleeping more will make depression worse. Okay, behavior, more, more activities, more exercises, go out, have some sunlight, that will change the emotion. Environment, I'm very sensitive to heat, so I'm very comfortable here because of got air conditioning and also got uh, dependent original conditioning. <laughs> I feel very comfortable here, uh, but I'm very sensitive to heat. Uh, if you feel hot, uh, I feel very uncomfortable. Uh, social factors. Uh, environment, having social support compared to no social support, that can have an emotion. Of course, past experience as well. Uh, so these are the various factors that can influence our emotion. Okay. The next part, I already mentioned these are the factors that can influence our emotion, but how, how, how the, what is the dynamic of the emotion? Uh, that means that what is the process, exactly how emotions are formed, exactly how the various factors, the various causes and conditions, how they interact. You know, life is complex, you know, it doesn't happen one by one. 
they all interact just like the chains the chain uh, actually by it, it the real actually it's not one by one they all all interconnected uh, they're all interconnected of course when we explain we explain one by one uh, but in reality it's happening at the same time and they're all interconnected the same applies for the causes and conditions for emotions as well okay mm. so the explain the interconnectedness is helpful to refer to a, a western therapy a, a modern psych, a therapy method known as cognitive behavioral therapy mm -hmm. this is a modern uh, therapy which is very useful for treatment of depression it's also very useful for treatment of anxiety uh, it explains the interaction between thoughts feeling and actions mm -hmm. in cbt they also got many many tools you know uh, cbt is uh, is one of the modern therapy method in this therapy method there are many many tools uh, and one or two is called the hot cross bun it's called Padersky hot cross bun because it's named after the person who created this concept Padersky hot cross bun uh, so according to this model i'm uh, using the buddhist term uh, emotion is interdependent on thoughts bodily sensation behaviors situation which is contact and environment it shows the dynamic uh, and sometimes I want to add the seven component, which is the past experience. Over here, how many do you see? How many parts in this model? Emotion one, thoughts, behavior, body sensation, situation, environment. How many? Six. You can plus one more to make it more complete. Like past experience. Huh? It's called hot cross bun because it looks like <laughs> the, the bun, yeah? the bun. Four parts. To put it another another uh, way, actually it is uh, similar. It's similar. I just put it another way. A contact, a contact is a situation can trigger a thought reaction, bodily reaction, emotional reaction, or a behavioral reaction. Is similar to this. Can you see the similarity? Can see? Uh, I tell the same. I just put it in slightly different way. Right? Mm. So, a contact can trigger thought reaction, bodily reaction, emotional reaction, and behavioral reaction. Uh, I will have a quiz. Uh, so, I'm going to ask this little question and test whether you understood what I've been sharing so far. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to have a quiz question. Okay. So, that is the situation. That is the contact and trigger. Okay. So I'm going to ask you the question now. I'm going to ask you a question now. Uh, so what thoughts, reactions do you have? What bodily reaction do you have? What emotional reaction do you have? And what behavior reaction do you have? Mm. Typically, if you, are, if you are a person who is afraid of speaking, you're afraid of, especially public speaking, uh, what, what do you think the thought will be? Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to be a quiz. Uh. I said I'm going to randomly choose. <laughs> Who's going to answer the question? Typically, what will your thought reaction be? Tough, oh, don't, don't, don't choose me. Don't, don't choose me. Or oh, oh, see, oh, see oh, don't choose me. Don't choose me. Eh? Uh, why are you looking at me? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Eh? Uh, so that, that, those are thought reactions. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Uh, uh, the body reaction? Pop, 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 so the body reaction pop, 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 happy a bit fast. Okay, emotional reaction a little bit of fear. A little fear, ah. Uh, what with the behavior reaction? Avoid, avoid eye contact. Uh, no eye contact. Oh, go to the toilet. Uh, this is behavior. Go to the toilet. Excuse yourself. Go to the toilet. Uh, so, so, can you see? It's a very simple situation. It will trigger thought reaction, body reaction, emotional reaction. I got to make it more complex now, right? Same model. So, uh, same model. In the model, there are total six parts. Am I correct? Uh, seven parts. Seven parts. So we have situation number one. We have thoughts number two. 
emotion, three, body sensation, four, behavior, five, environment, and past experience. So far, so good, right? Eh? Okay. So we're going to choose another example. Situation will be imagine you are preparing for final school exam. Or if you are an adult, maybe you are preparing for certain professional exams. That will be the situation or the contact or the trigger. Right? Okay. Then, thoughts. I have to do well or I will waste money for the professional exam. So that's thoughts. Right? Okay. Then, the emotion will be anxiety. Lah. I'm likely to be happy and joyful with it. So anxiety, stress, kanchong, worry. Uh, worry is usually top. The emotion is the uh, anxiety. Okay. What do you think will be the body sensation? Stomach ache, stomach ache, ah, stomach ache. <laughs> ah, stomach ache. Oh, headache. Ah, what could be the behavior? Ah, different people behave different way. Some will study more, study excessively. Ah, some will procrastinate, that, don't study. Ah, and if I ask you why like this one, ah, what will be answer me? Why different people behave different way? One, some will one study harder, study, study, study. Some will procrastinate. Those Why like this one? Ah? Why like that one? Ah? The answer will be because they are causes and conditions, and different people have different causes and conditions. Is it enough to relate? What? Then what could be the environmental factors? Okay. The school environment is very competitive. You're sitting for exam, and this school uh, top school. <laughs> uh, school environment very competitive, especially in the top class. That adds on to the pressure. Makes sense, isn't it? That's the school environment. Okay. Then past experience. Repeatedly scolded by your mother. Uh, sorry, la, not this is not the meant to generalize the mother. Huh? <laughs> For not performing well in your study, which led to frequent arguments between your parents due to poor exam result. Ah. So now can you see the various causes and conditions for why for this particular student behave in this way, feel this way, think this way? Ah. Ah. Can we there? One more example. This time for school goals. Uh, another one. Next example. Another. Your boss criticize you at work. So that is a situation or the contact or the trigger. Okay. Then your thoughts. Oh, very happy. Thank you for, for <laughs> choosing me to criticize. Eh? You might think I'm not good enough. Will this affect my work? Will I be terminated? Will I get my bonus? Ah. Then the motion will be anxious, likely anxious. Can't huh? uh, worry, no bonus. Lah. Die. Lah. <laughs> Body sensation, not in the stomach, or sweating, or increased heartbeat. Behavior will be? What could be the possible behavior? Work harder. Huh? Work harder. Resign. <laughs> or resign? Oh, no, you work. Lah. Work also get criticized. Don't work also get criticized. <laughs> uh, you might withdraw, resign, or avoid your boss. Ruminate. Some people will argue with the boss. Uh, some people will just ruminate and think and think and think and think no action. Uh, so different people will behave different way. Similarly, different people will also think different way and feel different way. Environmental factor. Uh, imagine you are criticized in a meeting room with all your colleagues around. That will be very embarrassing, isn't it? That will add on to the stress. <coughs> past experience. And from Buddhist perspective, the past can until past life. <laughs> uh, 
Your perfectionist father, ah, very fair one, ah. I talk about mother also, I talk about fathers, ah. Your perfectionist father frequently criticizes you during childhood and therefore you value external approval. So to you, external approval is very, very important. Uh, maybe for you, nothing lah. School, school lah, used to it already. But for you, wow, it means a lot. Uh, okay, why like that one? Why different one? Because different causes and conditions, right? Hey, so therefore, if you want to understand your emotion more, so I got this practice called mirror, mirror on a mindful mirror, not mirror, mirror. <laughs> mindful mirror on the wall, tell me my emotions more and more. Uh, so it's a phrase for practice. Uh, mindful mirror, mirror on the wall, not mirror, mirror on the wall. Mindful mirror on the wall, tell me my emotions more and more. Not tell me how, who's the prettiest of all. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a tradition, uh, mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the prettiest of all. Uh, change it. It's mindful mirror on the wall, tell me my emotions more and more. If you want to understand your emotions more, it's very simple practice. You can just have a piece of paper, map out your experience. So the sample, center part is the situation. Okay? Uh, the situation can be whatever, any, any situation. Then you map up thoughts, the associated thoughts, associated feeling, associated body sensation, associated behavior, and then the ring is the environment. And this one represent past experience. Hmm. Practical enough? Hmm. Then, hmm. Uh, remember earlier there's one slide, I actually showed a, a, a book cover of a book by Bante Tejaniya. Uh, it says, don't look down at your defilements. Mm. I think that is a very meaningful uh, book cover title. Okay? My understanding of this is, don't look down at our negative emotions. Mm. The word defilements there include negative emotions. Okay? Don't look down, we should learn from it. Uh, but how to learn? This is one of the way. So we map out the negative emotion. In other words, map out the defilement and try to understand the causes and conditions. So far, so good? Okay. And that's the end of part two. Thank you very much, Dr. And now we would like to reopen the floor for questions and answers. Just one or two before we proceed with the yeah. third part. Yeah. Okay. So let's maybe give a chance to those who have asked yet. Uh, please don't ask me why like this one. Uh. <laughs> because my standard answer will be, why not like this? Because there are causes and conditions. Um, so, Brother uh, Dr. Yes. Uh, nurture versus nature. People who have a certain inclination to emotional states. Uh, how much is it to you? To biological inheritance or hereditary or is it the fact that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? You want to know the exact percentage nature versus uh, nature versus nurture for emotions uh, uh, according to the studies in positive psychology according to positive psychology about about fifty percent about fifty percent is determined by Genetics. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so what does that mean to you? In fact, that uh, when when I say that about fifty percent, about fifty percent is determined by genetic. Actually, that that is a situation, you know. So when you hear that, when I say about fifty percent is determined by genetic, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings? What are your bodily sensations and what is your behavior? Uh, uh, there's something I, I can't tell about it for you to know. Uh, uh, but it can be up to 50%. Mm. But the good thing is there's also a nurture part. There are a lot of things we can do. There are a lot of things we can transform. Mm. So it's not like the links are all fixed ready. You cannot, you cannot unlink, you know. Uh, the, the chain can be changed, the links can be modified. So I'm not sure whether your question is focusing on the first part, 
Uh, but I will choose to focus on the set part. The links can change. The causes and condition can change. Okay. Maybe one more question before we go to the third part. Regarding the panic attack, right? So it's quite true. The panic attack, but you know, panic attack. Ah. Uh, yeah. You cause us to like go for emergency, yes. etc. So it's actually like uh the symptom is part of PTSD. So what is the medication emergency medications that this type of patient should take? You mean during a panic attack? Yeah. Because it the shortness, uh, panic uh, attack also have uh, like shortness of. Right. Uh -huh. It's like you cannot be surrounded with a lot of people. Correct. So, yeah. So I want I would just want to make sure whether I get your question your question correctly. So in the context of panic attack, if you want to take medicine, what is the best medicine? What's the recommended? Oh, do we need to take medications or? Oh, that one is more difficult to answer. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I, I will try. It, uh, but. What kind, what is the medication Okay, I will try to give a practical answer because this is not a consultation. We have to keep it brief. Lah. Basically, if you can cope, if you can cope with a panic attack, you know how to cope and you can cope, then no need to take medicine. If you cannot, if you cannot, then a medication can be very helpful. And one of the helpful medications is called Xanax. It's called Xanax or Alprazolam. So for a talk, I can only answer to that level. If you can cope, you know how to cope, you can manage, then no need to take. If you can't, then consider medication. And one of the medications to consider is Xanax. Exactly how to take, when to take, when not to take. Uh, clinic setting will be better to discuss. Right? Uh, because the panic attack, right? If yeah. you like, sometimes you will like cannot breathe. Right? Yeah. So if you go to the emergency, yeah. So is it quite severe? It's severe. Ah, uh, so yeah. but severe if you know how to manage, it's alright, ma. Uh, but I guess, I guess lah. From the way you ask, from the way you ask uh, that means you don't know Ah, ah, ah. From 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 where you ask, I, I sort of can guess lah that you don't know how to cope with it. So if you don't know how to cope with it, I will say uh, medication is one of the options. And one of the one medication is a medicine called Xanax. Uh, you go and watch Netflix uh, doc Netflix documentary. Uh, uh, they will give you an introduction to Xanax. Uh, but you need professional consultation on how how to use uh, Xanax. Okay? Mm. Impossible for me to teach you how to use Xanax uh, over here. Okay, but I assure you there's a way to do that. Okay, mm, good. Alright, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Can we take one more? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, comments also welcome. Huh? Yeah. Question. Yeah, um, I just like to make a comment. I don't know which brother was talking about leaching. Uh, yes, please, please yeah. help me. So I, I think uh, Dr. Pang reported that Sonia Levinsky paid yeah. to 50%, but because recently I just came across it, I just Lower to the recent study in 2018, I can direct you to that paper. They talk about heritability of happiness, which with from twins to is like 30 to 40. So I think the uh, nurture part is probably a larger percentage. That means things that we can actually you know, do and modify. So heritability for both. I may put it as happiness, uh, so I guess it's still okay. So it's 30 40 as we. It's still 30 40. Uh, yes, I'm aware of that paper. Uh, it's still 30 40. It's still quite high. Uh, but the emphasis is always on the other the other 50 or the other 60 to 70. The things that we can do. Uh, things that can make a change. Uh. That's the whole idea of learning the 12 links. Uh. That's the whole idea of identifying the causes and conditions with the hope that we can change the causes and conditions. Uh. It also got to be realistic when we identify the causes and conditions. Uh. Not necessarily all can be changed. Uh. Yeah, uh, but it's important to identify those that can be changed and those that cannot be changed. Uh, by the way, genetics, gene expression can be changed. Crap, gene expression can be changed. Uh, epigenetic, yes, gene expression can be changed. Yo yo
就有过，有缘就成果。